Hi, welcome back to Steps of Freedom. Hello. We got Devon, we got Anna and Aaron. Hey, Aaron and Marie. Uh, we got Cecilia, all right, welcome. Vicki and Mary Lee, welcome, Mary Lee. Lisa and Tammy and Yelda and Hannah, welcome. Carly, hey, good to see you, Carly. Awesome, so nice for you. Turn on your cameras, ladies. We're gonna say hi to one another. Hope you had a good week. Hope you had a good week there. Give a wave hi to everybody. Hey, Bree, there she is. See, I, I see your names, but I don't really click on that it's you until I see your beautiful face. Hey, Vicki. Nice, just saying hi to everybody. Awesome. It's good, good for you to be on here tonight. Welcome. Welcome, well, it's good you made it, Anna. That's excellent, excellent. We're talking about a very, very important topic, actually the most important topic in regards to deliverance tonight, in my opinion, because you can't hop around to deliverance minister, to deliverance minister to get deliverance. You got to learn how to do it yourself, right? Can I get an amen? You got to know how to take authority over the enemy in your life at two o'clock in the morning. You can't be calling somebody, hey, pray for me. It's 2 a.m. I'm being attacked. No, you got to take authority in that moment and, and do what needs to be done, right? Because as born-again Christians, we have the Holy Spirit, and we have authority, Jesus told us, over all the power of the enemy. And we don't have to worry about being hurt because nothing. By, he says, nothing's going to hurt you. Don't be afraid, okay? Take authority over the enemy. Tell him what to do so you can get back to sleep. Okay, how many of you get attacked at night time? Raise your hand if you ever get attacked in the evening or in the middle of the night. Anybody? Oh, just a couple. Okay, just a couple. <laughs> yeah, we just got a couple. All right, the rest of you are liars, or you're you're just, you know, not in, not anymore. Oh, that's a good testimony. Good, good. Yeah, sometimes we all get attacked. In the evening, because that's in the nighttime when we're trying to sleep and trying to rest, because that's when we're most vulnerable, right? In the in the daytime, you're, you know, you're singing to the Lord, you're praying in tongues, you're talking with a friend and getting some encouragement, giving some encouragement, you're reading your Bible, you're taking care of life's business, right? You're busy, and you don't have time. You don't you don't really notice what he's doing, but then at night. When everything slows down and you're ready to fall asleep, man, boom, he can hit you. Or um, he'll hit you when you're waking up in the morning. Okay. Uh, okay, no, don't worry about being rude. Unless you interrupt us, that would be rude. But otherwise, you're good, sister. <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. We got someone with their hand up. I'm going to get to you in a second, okay? We'll get to some testimonies in a minute or questions. But um, I'm just giving a little bit more time for some people to jump on here. Hey, could you, um, and this is for you here and and you, on. Uh, we have a lot of people to watch the replay, which is fantastic. Um, how many of you catch the replay? Anybody? Oh, at least one person. Oh, a couple. Okay, well, good. <laughs> so... That's going very well. We have like three, 400 people that, that sh it shows up that there's viewing it. That's amazing. So um, what I'd like you to do right now is in the comments and in the chat, just, just tell us where you're from. Where, where are you right now? Not, not where you were born, but where are you tuning in from right now? Where are you at? Gilbert, we have Tucson, Arizona, all right. Oklahoma, Cary Creek, Toronto, Canada, wow. Massachusetts, my part of town. Okay, Grand Rapids, Michigan, awesome. Lincoln, Nebraska, San Diego, Fort Worth, Texas, Fort Worth, Florida, <laughs> Virginia, wow. Australia, welcome, Vicki. Wow, all the way from Australia. Awesome, more Canada, Texas. I think I missed a few, Iowa. Wow, I, I need to have a map with some pins on it. Maybe I can get all the states. <laughs> Ontario, Canada, awesome. South Carolina, beautiful. And we had a lot of people from all over the country, all over the world. Um, that's 
truly amazing, truly amazing. Um, this, this truth gets to go to all these places and uh, then you get to share it with your friends. So I praise God. Um, tech, Arizona, hey, Yemsi. I praise God for technology. Um, I know it can be very harmful, but we are using it for good tonight. So there we go, Oklahoma. Welcome, Patricia. Good that you got back on. I'm so happy. Awesome. All right. Well, um, before we go any further, I'm going to ask Jen. Jen, you want to open us in prayer? Cover us tonight? Hi, Jen. Hi. Yes, thank you, sister. Thanks. Heaven, Heavenly Father, we just come humbly before you tonight in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Father God, I give praise and thanks to you for all the women, all the sisters that have joined this call tonight, Lord. And we just ask, Father God, that your presence be amongst us, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for opening our hearts and minds to the teaching that's coming, Lord. We thank you for speaking to each one of us, Lord, that you are guiding and directing everything on this call, Lord. Thank you for blessing Sister Julie with the teaching that she's presenting, Lord. Father God, we just ask that you will cover us and we just come against all the spirits of distraction and we bind them up in the name of Jesus. We bind up all offense in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father God, for your presence here amongst us, Lord. We pray that you will draw more sisters in according to your will. We thank you, Father, for this time together in Jesus' mighty name. Julie, you're muted. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, Zoom you as a user, you wanna share something with us or you have a question? This one? All right. Thanks, Jen, for that prayer, that was good. Four from Ontario, Canada. You ladies need to get together. You could form your own cell group out there. Okay. Anybody, um, anybody have a testimony from the last week you'd like to share the last week? Um, maybe something God, you know, helped you with this last week, a breakthrough, a testimony, a healing. You noticed something different. You've been coming on the Zoom call for a while and finally you got a breakthrough, something you'd like to share. Is there anybody? Just on you and, and to, oh, okay. Go ahead, Doris. Give us your testimony. So I'm getting bolder in praying for people uh, getting healed and letting, you know, letting go of that control of it has to happen right then and there. So I prayed for someone like quite a few months ago. He had like some hand thing going on. He's at my church. And, um, you know, since I've been getting a lot of deliverance and I think uh, deliverance from the Kundalini spirits and stuff, my mind is clear. So scriptures are coming quicker. And, you know, when he starts to say something or whoever I'm praying for starts to say something negative, I'm able to catch that and, you know, to share with them why that's negative and that negates their prayer. Um, so the Holy Spirit told me um, to call this woman in or get a hold of this woman in our life group. She's like super negative, totally offended, having some rift between her and her daughter. And I kind of didn't want to like, you know, basically say you have to forgive and the, you know, Matthew 544 and then release the ought. But I called today and um, so I, the Lord is helping me release control of, you know, I just have to obey God and leave whatever, the results up to God. So whether she obeys or not, because I said, well, are you going to do it? She goes, well, I know about it. And I said, well, the word says be doers of the word, not just hearers only, you know, it's no good if you just don't do it. And I've already given you what, because she said she was so tormented, you know, yeah. uh, of course, I've been tormented when I don't forgive and all that yeah. stuff. And 
So after this, I'm going to send her like maybe three scriptures that she can just look. I said, all I've told you to do is Matthew 5, 44. That's, you know, and forgive and release the awe. That's it. You know, there's no other thing going on here. And she's like, uh, and, and I said, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, now that you know what you need to do, if you don't do it, the torment's going to come even more. I, I mean, it is because it did for me, you know, and, um, but I'm getting bolder with this and, uh, but also not being like totally mean about it either. And a lady at church, she wanted me to lay hands on her because she had like some neck thing and for healing. And I'm going to follow up with her to see, you know, uh where that is but i'm like believe that you're healed already because jesus already healed you you know and she seemed like she really accepted that so okay. for me that's a breakthrough rather than kind of like have that cowardice spirit you know kind of like i don't want to say something because maybe what if god doesn't heal them what if god does whatever you know so the control thing and overthinking i'm trying not I mean, that those are breakthroughs for me. Excellent. Okay, good. So um, some of you are new tonight to this. Uh, so I want to introduce myself. My name is Julie Andrews, and I'm the teaching or counselor at the Arizona Deliverance Center. And why I'm doing this is, so uh, the Arizona Deliverance Center is an offshoot of hardcore Christianity. So hardcore Christianity is, you might say, the mothership <laughs> and Arizona Deliverance Center is part of that. And then the, the healing house is part of that. And then there are some other groups around the country. Uh, and there's one popping up in Germany that are, that are, um, well, how do we call them? Mike used to call them terror cells. But anyway, my point is this hardcore Christianity. We have a special lingo, don't we ladies? Hey, you need the Matthew 544 of that. <laughs> <laughs> we say all oh, the tormentors are coming you don't hear that in church but this is common language we use <laughs> and it does sound a little it might sound a little funny to a new a newcomer so um what's really big here and very important to self-deliverance is forgiveness and releasing the negative feelings you have towards a person who hurt you okay and matthew 5 44 tells us um Jesus is responding to someone who's asking about this. And he said, well, I say to you, love your enemies and bless those who curse you. Right. And I always forget the third one. Somebody help me quickly. Somebody help me. Come on. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Amen. See, Carly's the expert on here. She has repeated this like a thousand times. She's giving me a laughing yes. note. You know? Yes. <laughs> but she's got great Till it was coming out of my ears. <laughs> yeah. So she's like, I got this down. Um, so Matthew 544 is telling us, you know, we we cannot hold on to the offense. We we just have to let it go. We have to just let that person off the hook, just like. Jesus let us off the hook and he's forgiven us and he remembers our sin no more. This is so important. And so people, we have something right called the miracle list. And that's what we've been working through, believe it, for 12 weeks. Some of you have been on here all 12 weeks. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, um, you know, that is the most important thing tonight before we do self-deliverance as i guide you through it i want you to really who's that person you're just having trouble letting it go but they did this and they did that and they abused me yeah i know they got spirits they're not they're not abiding in christ they don't even know christ probably they it's impossible for them it was impossible for them to treat you well so we have to forgive them even if they know better we have to forgive them because, you know, you have sinned when you knew better, but you did it anyway. 
So you have to let go of those people. Now, I might have to get up and take care of my cat as you see her in the back because she wants attention. You okay? You okay? Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so we have to we have to be mindful. If there's somebody, you know, that they're in there and you're like, man, I just oh, I have to let go, you know, and you're warring inside. Really, it's inside your mind because it's a decision you make. You make a decision. I am, you know what? That person hurt me so bad. The betrayal was awful. But I am going to be an imitator of Jesus. And I'm going to forgive. While there are yet sinners, I'm going to still forgive them. Just like me. Okay, let me take them. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so so that's, that's really, really important. Um, is there anyone else who would like to share a small testimony? Yelda, go sister. Um, okay, I'll try to keep it quick. Um, when Are I first, first started deliverance, I had a, a personal situation that got me here and I was, I got a lot of, uh, some, some, some strong deliverance that first week. And, uh, one of my girlfriends, she had, She's been trying to get pregnant for a couple years and she wasn't getting pregnant. But when she did, it was right before I started deliverance. She okay. had an ectopic pregnancy and um, it was very, very bad for her. And she called me and she I, she didn't know why she reached out to me, but she said, you know, I just something told me call Yalda. And so as soon as I called her or she called me and I answered um, I had gone through the, the the list multiple times already, and I think it was like my second week in deliverance in the uh, in the miracle list class. And so I just went through the list with her, and I asked her if I could pray for her, um, and she was of course open to it. And I prayed for her, and then I asked her if she goes to church or anything like that. And she said no, but it's been in my heart. And she said maybe that's why. I reached out to you because I remember you telling me uh, about my getting saved and then starting deliverance. Um, and so last week she messaged me, she sent me a picture of an ultrasound. Um, and she said, you remember? Uh, she And I was like, wow. And I called her, I was like, you're pregnant. And she said, yes, I cried, I was so happy. Praise God. And, and I said, are you happy? She said, all I could think of is this one thing because i i think i finished that that conversation after that prayer with you know it's gonna be god just trust him and when he blesses you from what i had read at that time was you know he's gonna do the impossible and then he's gonna do it in a wondrous way so there's no question that it was him mm -hmm. uh, and nothing else and no one else and i said okay and she said well after I got my after she got her ultrasound, she said the doctor said the really weird thing is, is the ovary that released the egg uh, mm -hmm. and it came through the tube was the one where the ectopic pregnancy was and there was a full blockage on her side of the tube. And so he said, he said, it's actually a wonder and technically a miracle that that egg came out of that egg and was fully fertilized and now fully attached to her uterus. So Wow. I was like, wow. I said, praise God. And I said, I, and then I, and then she said, my husband's been going to Bible study. We've been going to church. And I just kept crying and crying and crying. I was like, wow, this is so beautiful. And I just kept saying, wow, 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 wow. She's like, Yelda, it's so true just to believe. And I said, that's all you, that's all he wants. Just believe him and follow him and give up all the, the other things that you think matter. And she kept repeating, she said, I, the doctor himself was shocked. Like, we have no idea how that egg jumped out and through the blockage of the two, but that's the egg that it came, that's the ovary that I came out of. And I told her, I said, because it had to have been wondrous. You had to know that this was God's blessing and it wasn't just some accident or some doctor helping you out or anything, right? Because they were doing IVF last year. I said, it wasn't IVF. She said, no, it was all natural. I was just oh, like, wow, God wow. bless that. That's awesome. So I that just want to shout awesome. So beautiful, yeah. So Thank our you. prayers matter to some That's degree, wonderful. of course. Praise God. God loves children, huh? He loves it. We just need a little bit of faith to believe. And we see miracles. 
I have right. a testimony. I have a testimony. Okay, hold on just a second. Let me get to you. Hey, Stephanie. There yeah, I'm here. Is. I have to jump off for a second. Stephanie's, I'm going to be listening though. So we want to hear from, from the gal who just popped on, okay? Okay. All right. Go ahead. Do you want to share your testimony? Okay. Um. Last night, you see, I live with I live with friends, right? Last night, there was this lady. She was making she was making a lot of noises. Like she, she talked to herself loud, very loud. I think she has an evil spirit in her. Like she's really weird. She like weird. She always talking to herself loud and stuff like that. Like ever since she's been living, she's been doing that. My friend that lived with me is a group home. Just to let you know, she couldn't sleep for four days because of her. The lady that was making so much noise, right? So what happened? Her name is Zilpa, my friend that couldn't sleep. She um she was yelling at the lady who was yelling. Zilpa was yelling at her. And what happened was um she punched her, she punched, she made a fist and punched herself in the wall like five times or four times. And I was saying, what's she doing? The next morning, um, she told me she couldn't sleep for four days. She told me her problem. And she started yeah, crying so like so loud and depressed. She was so depressed. She wanted to hurt somebody. She, just, she kept saying she wanted to hurt somebody. I was like getting scared for her. So I was like, what should I do, God? What should I do? So something told me to go call my church friend and get her to talk to um get her to talk to my Zopa. So I called my church friend. My church friend talked to her. My church friend her, to pray said let her say pray after her. She felt so good and stuff like that. And after that, so she thanked me, right? Zopa thanked me because she felt better. She was crying, so I felt bad. But I was praying for Zopa that. And I was telling her, don't worry, everything will be okay. Because I know that lady that screams and talks to herself, she's crazy. I think she has an evil spirit in her. Anyways, yeah. So a couple hours later, in the afternoon, to, like today afternoon, I felt, I felt on my right hand, I felt lots of pain on my right hand. It was so painful. I was like, ouch, 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 ouch. And my hands are shaking, right? My hands are shaking so hard. And I told Zopa, oh, my hand's shaking and it's hurting. And I, no, my hand, no, the reason why my hand's shaking was the Holy Ghost. But the, the hand part, the pain part of my hand, that's from Zopa. She's not feeling her pain. She told me that I care a lot about, I care about a lot of people. I care so much about the reason why I'm feeling pain, I'm feeling her pain. Because when she pushed herself in the wall, when she pushed her fist in the wall, she was feeling pain. But that pain that was felt from her. And, it was, and she was telling me I care so much about people. That's why I'm feeling her pain. And she said, God's going to bless me. When you really, when you really serve God, I care about people, blesses you. And you, I have that gift to feel someone's pain. But the pain left. Okay. Thank you for that testimony. Appreciate that. Awesome. Welcome. Where are you, where are you from? Where are you living? Sister? Me? Where, where, where do you, where do you live? I live in a New Mark, Ontario. Ontario. Okay. Great. Well, welcome. Welcome to our our Zoom tonight. Beautiful. All right. You can go ahead and mute yourself now. All right. Um, great. So are we ready? Are we ready? I also want to say thank you very, very much. Some of you have sewn into this ministry, and I just want to say thank you. It is much appreciated. And um, thank you, just thank you very much, okay? All right, um, so I'm gonna be going over, it's, this is not something I made up. This is something that Brother Mike made up and it's on the website, Hardcore Christianity. And hardcorechristianity.com, if you go to the deliverance tab, and you look for self-deliverance, you'll find it there, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is explain a couple things and take some questions, and then I'm gonna walk you through the process, okay? Um, everybody, everybody's an individual, and God deals with everybody individually, okay? And so this method may not work for you, and that's okay, um, but, it's, it's, it's a good one to try, okay? And so we'll walk through it. Um, I was thinking about this. I'm like, well, you know, what could I say about self-deliverance from my own experience? 
so and people ask me sometimes they ask me do you do self deliverance do you still have to go through deliverance and the answer is yes um i would say the majority of my attacks when i do get attacked is at nighttime it's it's either while i'm falling asleep just waking up maybe a bad dream okay um, I attribute this to because I pray for a lot of people during the week and um, I don't really know. I, I don't know where they come from exactly, but when I wake up from a dream, let's say, and I know it wasn't from the pizza I had the night before and it's not from the Lord, but it's a dream that I'm like, or maybe I'm not sure where it's from. But I first take the stance that there might be a spirit here giving me a dream. And so I'm going to pray. And I'm first going to ask the Lord, you know, Lord, is there anything that I need to repent of? I just ask him. And if nothing comes to mind, then I move forward. But if, say, someone comes to mind like, I was on the phone with an insurance agent a couple weeks back and I was rude to that insurance agent. Remember that? Um, I'm sure none of you have ever been rude to you know somebody on the phone before, but I was. And when I got off the phone, I felt conviction. And, and it was like the Lord kind of remind, let me hear my own voice. And I was like, ooh, I was being rude. And so I repented right then and there. Oh Lord, I am so sorry. I shouldn't. That lady was so nice and, and I had an edge to me because I didn't like what she was saying. I didn't like the price or whatever it was. But um, I, I just owned, I owned it myself and I apologize sincerely to the Lord. I'm sorry, Lord, I don't want to do that again. Help, help me, right? And so you might have something come to mind that you didn't think about before. Maybe you did the day before, the week before, a month before, whatever. And, and the Lord brings it back to your memory you just and you just talk to him. Lord, I'm, I am really sorry. Now, there are certain things that I think we need to press into a little bit more. Not that you're not genuine, not that you're not sincere, but we do a lot of things to mask to, I don't want to say mask, I'm going to say like callous our heart from knowing how serious of a sin it is, Okay. There are certain things like sexual sin. The Bible says that all other sins are outside the body, but sexual immorality is a sin against your own body. And so, and, and, and it's, it's very serious. And so when we commit sin, sexual sin, it's different than stealing. It's more serious. And so we need, to, and a lot of times I think, We'll, we'll just tell ourselves it's not that big of a deal. I mean, my brother's church, the worship leader, she lives with her boyfriend. I doubt they have separate bedrooms. You know what I'm saying? She's living in sin, but she's, and she's in church every Sunday, but she has calloused her heart. She has seared her conscience to the point where it doesn't bother her. And she lives that way and she's open about it. There's no conviction. She she can't hear the Holy Spirit telling her, "Hey, you need you can't be doing this. This is this is a sin against your own body, and you have the Holy Spirit in there, and you're making the Holy Spirit be joined together in fornication or adultery." Okay, so we talked. We have talked about godly sorrow, and sometimes we ask the Lord for godly sorrow. So I said all that to say is. Maybe, maybe you wake and you're like, you know, why did that dream happen? I don't like that dream. Lord, is there anything I need to repent of? Um, did I open a door to something that I was unaware of? And you just kind of wait. And if nothing comes to mind, then you're probably okay. You know, you're seeking the Lord. If something got in, maybe it's, not, maybe it's inside, maybe it's on the outside, but you don't know but you're gonna take authority and rebuke it. I rebuke that dream. I don't receive that dream. I renounce that dream. And I command that dream giver to get out in the name of Jesus. I'm not gonna feel shameful or I'm not gonna feel scared. I'm not gonna feel guilty because I had that dream. 
I command that spirit that gave me that dream to go in the name of Jesus. Okay. Do it right away. As soon as you're aware of the dream and how you might be feeling. Okay. And you want to, you know, spend some time. Maybe you, you got fearful in the dream and now you're thinking, oh, I'm fearful. Or you start condemning yourself for something that happened. I killed somebody in the dream. I feel bad. Do I have murder in my heart? You know what I mean? You start thinking these things and maybe there's a little paranoia. Maybe there's a little condemnation. Maybe there's guilt you're feeling about something else. Just address it. Whatever the symptom is, whatever that feeling is, tell it to go in the name of Jesus because you have authority, okay? And that's what's so important about self-deliverance is you have to take care of it as quickly as possible. Okay, can I get an amen? Take care of it as quickly as possible. You messed up, boom, Lord, I'm sorry. I just raised my voice. I shouldn't have talked to my husband that way. I shouldn't have talked to my coworker that way. You know, apologize. Hey, I'm really sorry I talked to you that way. Lord, I'm so sorry that that came out of me. What's in there? Is that anger? Do I have resentment? I command that anger to come out of me in the name of Jesus. Or are you getting over emotional about something? Okay. Maybe you find yourself, you, you, you start thinking about, I don't like my life. I don't like my marriage. I don't like my job. I don't like where I am in life. I'm lonely. I don't have children, whatever it is. But then it starts to spiral, right? And now you're crying and now you're sobbing and now you're confused and you're feeling dizzy and you're like, oh, I got to stop this. Lord, I'm so sorry for the self pity. Lord, I am so sorry. You're always with me. I'm telling myself I'm alone. But the truth is you're always with me. Lord, I am so sorry. And then you attack that devil that, that made you get into that place. Okay? I command the spirit of loneliness, hopelessness to get out of me in the name of Jesus. Okay? Don't, don't let... There's a difference between godly sorrow and the Lord is upon you and you're crying, and you're sobbing, you're repenting, then I'm crying because I'm scared and hopeless and afraid. That crying is from the devil. And you, maybe it happens in the shower, maybe it happens as you're driving to work. You know, wherever it happens, you got to take authority of it right away. Don't let time pass, okay? Don't let it pass. You don't have to be loud, you just have to be firm. Okay, you can be firm. I mean, it happens in the grocery store sometimes. That, that's like one of my least favorite places <laughs> because I see the attack there. <laughs> and, and I'm just like, I can feel it. And I'm like, no devil, you leave right now. Anxiety, you leave me in the name of Jesus. And I'm just like, that true anxiety leave in the name of Jesus. You don't like be whispering it. You just take authority right there in that moment. Okay. Now, you don't want to rebuke the person who's attacking you, but you can bind the spirits that are attacking you through the person, okay? That person's attacking you, excuse yourself to the restroom, and you start binding their spirits in the name of Jesus. You can totally do that, all right? That's legal. You can tell it to go. Go, leave me in the name of Jesus because it's coming out. All right, so... So... um. I would like to ask, I would, okay, Jen's driving. She told me, where's Stephanie at? Steph, are you available? When you do self-deliverance, how do you prepare yourself before you do it? Or what do you do? Well, I get in a quiet place with the Lord and I just kind of, you know, just start evaluating my heart. And, and I start off with, I love you, Lord. You know, thank you for everything you've done, Lord. Show me if there's anything that I need to repent of. And and then, you know, so I guess I start off with a little praise and then I, I you know, start repenting and um, Lord, I'm so sorry. You know, if if I, have whatever it is he shows me, I need to repent of. And then, and then I'll, you know, after I'm done repenting, I'll start laying hands on my body and commanding the demons to come out. That's good. Good. Thank you. Now, um, I would, I, I didn't prepare anybody for my questions, but
but um, I see Bree is on. Hi, Bree. Bree, can you share with us a little bit about how you do it? Or would you be willing to do that? Sure. Sister? All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, same kind of thing that Steph said. Um, I guess worship, like sometimes I'll come in with worship. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. definitely self-evaluating, asking the Holy Spirit to reveal, you know, just those places in me, because I feel like that's totally like one of the first steps, you know, is to figure out what's going on with me. Mm -hmm. And then or if it or if I need to forgive anybody, one of those. And then, um, yeah, I command them to leave, but I'm stern. You know, I use my faith and while I'm doing deliverance, um, I like really make sure that I'm believing that I'm not just like going through the motion, but I'm like, no, like you have to leave in Jesus's name. And I use my faith and I believe, and I know that the Lord's going to deliver me. And I just kind of keep that in the forefront of my mind <laughs> when I'm doing deliverance. And then, um, yeah, and then I just end with more worship and praise and speaking in tongues and just thanking the Lord, you know, for what he's done. And um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> great. No, that's great. Thanks, Bree. Thanks for letting me call you, put you on the spot there. Of course. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, Bree. So that's good. Um, you know, so I think Grace just asked a question. How often do you do self-deliverance? Well, back in 2020, <laughs> when I came back to the ministry again, um, I I knew that I had picked up spirits and what I was doing beforehand. And I knew I needed to get them out of my body. I knew they were there. Um, so I was doing it every single day. For about five months okay and that was my that that was that's what I did okay um and then and then I ended up having a I got some help I got some help along the way I had a couple of people that I met in the ministry I talked to them over the phone and then one time it was an in-person they helped me um I could tell I was manifesting anxiety really bad and I just asked them to pray for me. And they took me in the prayer room and ended up being like an hour deliverance center. And I got delivered from that Kundalini witchcraft, crazy snake demon. And that was amazing. Um, but, but so in the beginning, and I call it the ICU, if you haven't seen uh, the, the teaching I did on spiritual recovery, it's one of the seminars I did. Um, in January, I just did it last January called spiritual recovery. And when you're in the ICU, meaning you're going through deliverance and you're going through it hard every time you go through it, you're in the ICU. You're just in the beginning. I call it, you, I call it the dumpster deliverance. Meaning, you know, um, anybody think they're in dumpster deliverance, you know what I'm talking about, right? You're, you're like having bucket deliverances. You're puking up stuff. You're coughing up stuff. You're, you're, um, is that on YouTube? Yes, it is. It's under the playlist on, on my YouTube channel. Um, you're, you're going through heavy deliverance still. Okay. I call that the dumpster deliverance. And once you got much of that stuff out, it's like a dumpster, right? It's like you, you go, the house is full of a bunch of crap and you pull up a dumpster and you're throwing out couches and chairs and you're throwing out the old carpet and you're like gut in the place, right? You're, you're, and you get it back in order. And now once you get past that point, then you get into a, I call it feather dusting. Okay. Now you're maintaining. You're maintaining your deliverance. Okay. Like, I was rude to the lady on the phone. I sin. I don't want to open up a door, but I know there's still some like, I can be a little, I can be a little, a little not nice sometimes. All right. I think Doris has shared that with us. She admits she can be a little aggressive in the way she talks and look, she's smiling. So I'm okay. <laughs> I know Doris. So, um, 
I, I know there's still something there, right? And so I'll go after it sometimes. I, I command that spirit of anger, that angst, that irritation, that, that impatience. I command you to come out of me in the name of Jesus. And before long, I'm yawning away, yawning, yawning. Um, I might get a couple of coughs out and then I can feel peace come, okay? It's like this happens in layers, right? You, they came in in layers. They came in over time, these spirits. And now you're going to get them out in layers. And it's going to happen over time. But the big stuff for me happened about, it took about five months of every day throwing the big stuff out. You know, I had to get rid of big, some big stuff. And that, that was about every day. I was doing the miracle list every day. I even added some parts that I thought were important, you know, that were kind of miracle list ish. Um, I, I, I like, I was listening to Mike's teaching about overcoming rejection. I was taking notes. I was really trying to get this because I was like, I can't go back to sin. I can't get tricked again. I gotta, I gotta really take this seriously this time. And so I did. And praise God, do you know what is, it's almost August. August 2nd will be four years that I've been serving on a regular basis at the Arizona Deliverance Center. Four years, yes, thank you. Okay, four years straight. I've not taken a break, I have not backslid, I, I've been straight on, okay? And so that might not be a big accomplishment for some, but it's a big accomplishment for me. And I know I can never go back. I can't. I got to stay in the ministry. I was a super sinner in my past. I know now I can't be far away from doing what God's called me to do. And, and that is this, I'm helping people. And uh, if I stop doing this, the devil will jump on me. So I know I can't stop. All right. Some of you are like that. Okay. Yelda, she's one of those girls. Uh, Jen, she's coming on soon here. She's one. I know Carly's one and Stephanie's one. They can't stop this. They have to stay with the Lord 100, right? Some of you, you screwed up so bad <laughs> in your life. You're like, oh no, I can't even step one foot back in mm -mm. no no oh where's where is the where is the wedding the bridal shower in a bar no can't go can't do it i can't even go there i know myself oh we're only gonna have one glass of wine no that's not right for me can't do it i cannot do oh get on the new christian dating site nope that's off limits for me i can't do that some people are fine with it. I don't recommend it, but some people are totally fine. But there are some of you, you know, okay, Mary Catherine, she said, I'm one of those people. You know, you have to not just stay in the shadow of his wing. You need to be in his armpit. That's how close you need to be. Who needs to be in the armpit of the Lord? Oh, look at all those hands raising up. Be careful. She's like, yeah. You got to be in his armpit. Shadow of his wing is not close enough for you. You, there's Tammy. She's like, me, me. Okay. You can't even go close to what you used to be doing. All right. So just stay on track. You're going to perfect self-deliverance. If you're in the dumpster deliverance phase, you're going to keep going. Oh, but it's so hard and it hurts my throat and I lose my voice. Yeah. Join the club. We know how it is. Okay, you'll be okay. You did worse things to yourself. So now they're coming out. And some people are like, well, I never throw up. It's okay. I've never thrown up. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to throw up, right? Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't have to, but some people do. It's all right. But you do need godly sorrow. You, you do need that. That's, that's a much. If you were in witchcraft, you cannot get free unless you have godly sorrow and hate for demons, okay? So 
Before we start, I'm going to take us through the self-deliverance. Before we start, I'm going to have you think about what's still in there. Is it anger? Is it pride? Is it lust? Come on, be honest with yourself. Is it perversion? This is, this is stuff that it's in there. You know it's in there. Is it self-pity? What is it? Maybe you just want to confess on chat right now. Fear. Is it fear? You know, the Lord told us, do not fear. Just like he said, do not commit adultery. Do not fornicate. Do not fear. We have to get control of our thoughts. All right? Maybe you need to repent. Repent of these things. Just confess it right now. Good. Everybody's confessing it right there and so really focus on that tonight all right does anyone have any questions about this topic of self-deliverance any questions any questions okay elena hey elena hi sister hi can you hear me okay I sure can okay um i just i was going through a lot of deliverance when i started coming um last month I mean I was consistent like every time I every chance I got every zoom every meeting I could make I was I was doing it and I got a lot of deliverance um but I can feel myself I feel so much better mm -hmm. but I I remember I think it was a couple weeks ago bro Mike was teaching about how this is like a pushing ministry like you have to keep pushing you to keep going on deliverance because you can get comfortable and think that it's, you know, just, you, you can stop. And I, I felt, I can feel myself kind of getting that way. Like, I know that I still need more deliverance. Um, but I, 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 I'm struggling to persevere like I was last month. I'm struggling to like, be consistent every single day. And, you know, looking for the next deliverance session like I was last month and I I know it's because I got a lot of deliverance but also I don't want to get comfortable and I guess I'm kind of scared to get comfortable because I know that's in the back of my mind like yeah I feel better and I what if I'm overthinking you know I start like you know you're fine stop overthinking you know well, that sounds like the enemy but like I sure does. yeah I just don't know what to do with that because I don't want to lose my fire, you know, I don't want to lose my, my zeal for that deliverance and not only for myself, but to also pray for others too, you know, like I don't want to get comfortable in that. And that that's what I'm worried about. Okay. I guess. Well, <clears throat> I heard you say the word worry at least three or four times. Okay. The Lord is able to keep you close to him, especially if you have a heart that wants to stay close to him. He is more than able to do that. So I, so it's really important that you set aside the fear and the worry because things are changing. Now, you want to be reading your Bible every day, right? Mm -hmm. You want to continue to learn. I would say keep learning. Listen, you know, keep keep learning. And, um, you know, every day you just ask the Lord, Lord, is there anything I, I need to address? You need to pray. You pray in tongues, Elena? I do. Yeah. Okay. You're doing that every day. Okay. Do it every day. God will show you the next steps. Okay. He'll okay. show it to you. But you are right. I did in the beginning. Uh, yeah, it was about five months of deliverance and I was hitting it hard. And then I felt so much better. I started going back to church and I met a man and I didn't understand that they could go dormant. And that's mm. exactly what happened was I, uh, I, it's like, I forgot what I learned. The miracle list wasn't out yet. So I didn't have that. Um, and I didn't know anybody at the center except for Brother Mike because I had met with him a couple times for an appointment. So I didn't have the connection. 
I didn't have anyone to talk to to say, you know, I think I'm dealing with something right now. You know, would you pray with me? Yeah, I, I didn't have that really. So I got tripped up. Um, so being concerned, like I'm getting too comfortable. Okay, that's legitimate. But if you're reading your Bible, you're praying in tongues, you're staying away from sin, okay, then mm-hmm. then address the fear and the paranoia. Oh, what? Oh my God, what do I do that? You know, am I yeah. overthinking? I'm overthinking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that yeah. that sounds like the issue is the yeah. process. Yeah. Kind of going, no, yeah. I'm going to trust the Lord. He's got Yeah, me. I struggle. I still struggle. Yeah, I, I need deliverance from fear. I was actually just praying about that right now. I, I really do. I like fear and everything. And, the, and then it says, the Bible says that, you know, a wicked man runs when no one's chasing after him, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. I'm like, what am I? I was so scared to ask somebody their name today. And how do they pronounce their name? And it just like, all all these thoughts, (laughs) I'm like, why am I, what am I running from? Like, like no one's chasing after me, you know, like it, yeah. Overthinking deliverance. (laughs) Right. There you go. And that, and the overthinking has a lot to do with renewing the mind. So that's believing the word of God, applying it to your life. Like you are doing, you're recognized, like, why am I running away when no one's chasing me? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Good revelation. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else have a question before we, we begin this? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. I got to put my glasses on so I can read this. All right. So um, I'm going to just read. I'm going to read this to you, ladies. And um, this is how we prepare. This is one of the ways you can prepare for deliverance. Okay. Let's say you're you're being intentional about it. It's not like you're in the grocery store and you get an attack of fear, you know, and you got to d- deal with it immediately. It's not that. It's um, you, you're intentional about it. You're getting quiet before the Lord, and then you begin this process. But before we start, I'll take Hina. Is that your name? Yeah. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for having me. I'm sorry that I was so distracted before. Um, I can can you pray for deliverance for others as well, or just for yourself? Well, well, yeah. I mean, I'm going to be praying for deliverance for others tonight. So I would recommend that you don't pray deliverance over someone unless you've gone through a significant amount of deliverance and you've learned how to fight back against the enemy because once you start attacking the enemy the enemy is going to attack you big time and you got to know how to fight back i'm beat okay so so right now you're not going to try to deliver anybody and the other thing is we don't have authority over somebody else's spirits if they want to keep them. I don't think she wants to keep them. Okay, I really good. don't. Good. I don't. Um, and we, we got to have, the person's got to be repenting of their sin because if they don't repent and close all the doors to sin in their life, when they get deliverance, the spirits, they want to come back in. Oh, yeah, I started praying about, um, I think, three or four four days ago. The first day, um, I just um, I started praying. Uh, the next morning, um, this is my mother. Uh, she's completely lost. Uh, and I think it's a definitely a very big demonic attack. Uh, it's ever since we moved into this house, and I'll keep it very short. Um, and... Um, the first day I prayed, um, she walked up to me and said, I love you. And she said to my dad, I love you very much, so much. And then she was gone again into this bubble. It's like this. She has no idea what she's doing. It is not nice at all. Are you dealing with mental illness? Um, almost dementia-like symptoms. Okay. Um, 
a very evil, vindictive um, tendencies uh, and a vile tongue. I don't think I've ever, ever heard anybody speak so badly. And my mother's not that person. And um, and um, bizarre actions, like uh, our whole house, thousands of dollars worth of things, scissored, um, smashed, trashed. Um, Do you live in the house? I take care of my mother and my father for the last eight years. Um, and I shouldn't say take care because we were three wonderful individuals living together. I made a decision eight years ago that I will take my parents to the end. Uh, it would be me. And uh, not in that way, but, you know, like I'll take care of them till the end. Um, and uh, yes, and, and so I bought this house like three and a half years ago. We modeled it for a year and we knew immediately something was wrong with this house. Uh, it was the most difficult remodel as well. Um, and um, my mom had an incident as soon as we bought the house and I was remodeling it. And it lasted maybe a few days. And then we all forgot about it in a way she was basically saying heinous things that that are not true. And um, and then she was just lost because she was just walking and she was like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Who are you? You're, you know, you're trying to kill me. You're trying to poison me. And uh, and then just walked away. Um, and um, And then anyhow, it's sort of like, went away i'm not sure if it went away or she was hiding it really well i never suspected anything wrong until a, she turned 70 six weeks ago i started noticing that she uh four toilet clogs four clogs in the house uh, i took her to san diego for her birthday clog even over there she's flushing things in the toilet she's taking things out What's mine is hers, what's hers is mine. We all, you know, we've never had any locks in the house. But the minute she could slip into a space that is not hers to come into and take and throw things away, um, destroy them, she has. And this is not lightly, this is thousands of dollars worth of things that she smashed and, and trashed uh, to the point where the aggression and the verbally abusive nature has become so bad that my dad has literally said he's going to leave. Oh. You know, and, and we, I can't. And today, uh, this morning, I had, I was like, I can't do this anymore because the most vile thing ever um, is for some reason, there is something to do with, I mean, I want to say it, I found shit in the sink. Where did you find it? In the sink. In the sink. Okay. Okay. Um, so there's way more to your story that we we're not going to address here, but there could have been some. There could be spirits in the house that are now in your mom. Yeah. Um. Or, or the, they were in her before you moved in and moving in triggered them for some reason. Um, is your mom a born again Christian? No. Okay. So um, you're not going to cast out demons from a person who's not born again. I need her to come with me, but she has to make that decision. Right, right. Um, we're gonna be in Carlsbad, California. Uh, uh oh, forgot the date. August tenth. Can I get a thumbs up? Is that the date? Yeah, August tenth. Thanks, Carly. Um, mm -hmm. August tenth. The ministry team is going to be in Carlsbad. Are you close to Carlsbad? I'm in Arizona. Oh, you're in Arizona. Oh, where are you in Arizona? Big Creek, Carefree area. Up north. Oh, you're in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. Oh, like by Carefree Highway. Say it again. Carefree Highway, so Cape Creek. Cape Creek, okay. Fair enough. North, north. Way north, like Carefree Side. Have you been to a service with us? I'm coming on Wednesday. Uh, see for the You have an appointment on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. We're in deep trouble. Yeah, deep. you are. We're yeah. No, your your mom is uh she's in clutches. Yeah, well, she was in his clutches before. That's what I feel too. Yeah. So now they're mad. When did you become a Christian? I didn't. I almost got baptized when I was sixteen. I used to go to Bible study for two years, and my mother uh, didn't let me. Okay. My question is, when did you become a born again Christian? Are you a born again Christian? I didn't. Oh. Okay. okay. You don't have to be baptized to become a born again Christian. What does that mean? Okay, good. I'm glad you asked. Sorry, ladies, we're taking a different turn. It's okay. <laughs> this is more important. Um, what it means is when you believe, so Jesus said, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, who's Jesus, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And so the first step is believing that Jesus, the son of God, came to the earth. He came to destroy the works of the devil. And he came to die for humanity. And the blood that he shed is the sacrifice that was required for sin, for the forgiveness of sin. And so, and then Jesus raised up again on the third day. He resurrected. And now he lives in heaven with God the Father. And he left the Holy Spirit. He sent the Holy Spirit to the earth to help us. Okay. You know the story? I believe that with all my heart. Okay, good. Not all of us. I can do my best. No, I, I'm going to do it. You're not. You can come and say hello, though. It's okay. It's just girls. No, no, I'm not. It's okay. What? Okay. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. I have put some medicine on my face. It's okay. Let me see. It's okay. No, I will clean that. I want you to come here and say hi. Hi, I Hi. A praise, a praise, yeah. This Hi. Is, Welcome. This is my mom. Welcome. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, we were just visiting with your daughter, Hina. Yes. She's I a can, lovely girl. I can see that. Yes, she is. Yes, yes. So uh, we we pray for people on this Zoom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we pray in the name of Jesus. Do you know mm -hmm. him? Yes, of course. I'm not Christian, though. We are Hindu, born and brought up in India, all of us. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hindu, we yeah. pray in the name of Jesus because we believe Jesus is not only the Son of God, but he is God. My face is like, okay, I... That's okay. Have, but like, I have put medicine in my face, so like, it's like... Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Definitely, thank okay, you. Okay, we'll talk to you later. We're gonna we're gonna pray for your for your mom. <laughs> yeah, I, I I sense that. So so when when you started to believe this, things started to change in your life, right? Yeah. Internally, okay, that was you becoming born again of the spirit. It was so not the same. That's right. That's right. That's when you got translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light and you were adopted by God and he made you his daughter. Now you belong to him. But your parents, they haven't done that yet. And your mom is being tormented by evil spirits. And they don't like that you believe in Jesus. Those spirits hate you, actually. No, no, I don't care. I don't care what are his choices. She wants to become a Christian, anything. It's her choice. But we are Hindu. We weren't there. So I just said, you know, you want to become baptized? Go ahead. I have no problem. Okay. We have bigger fish to fry. Yeah, them. yeah. So, so don't, don't, don't worry that we never said anything to her. It's her choice. Oh, yes. She didn't uh, say you did. Yeah, that's no, fine. They don't say the parents have said, no, parents have not said anything like that, please. Oh. That's, that's, 
that's that's not right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we, uh, we thank you, Jesus, for Hina. We thank you, Lord, for her mother and her father. We love her, Lord. And I'm sure they're good parents. And Lord, I pray that you bless right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you bless them, Lord, by drawing them to yourself and showing them the truth. In the name of Jesus, we bind spirits that attack Hina. We bind the spirits of confusion. We bind the spirits of hopelessness. I bind the spirits of rage and anger. I bind the Hindu gods. I bind these spirits of Hinduism in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirits that are attacking the mother, that are attacking Hina. We bind you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. And we lose the love of God over Hina. We lose the love of God. We lose the wisdom of God. We lose the power of God upon her. Thank you, Lord. You have a plan for her life and for her family. Lord, we have all seen many miracles. We've seen people come out of Catholicism. We've seen people come out of Hinduism, we've seen people come out of Islam. Lord, you, you're you not a respecter of persons. You love everyone. And you desire that not one perish, but have everlasting life. And so, Lord, I pray that you give Hina wisdom. Wisdom of how to pray. Give her the words, Lord. Tell her how to pray. Teach her how she is to take care of her space, the four walls, Lord. Lead her in righteousness, Lord. She believes in you with all of her heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, Hina, you're going to send me an email. Okay. Steps to Freedom at ADC. No, steps of freedom adc at gmail.com. If someone will drop it in the chat, you can write it down. Send me an email and we'll talk, okay? When you have some private time, private privacy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're okay. welcome. You're welcome. We'll do that right away, okay? I will. God bless you. God bless your mom. God bless your dad. Your whole family. You're in the hands of the Lord, okay? Yes, it's okay. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. You're in the hands of the Lord. He loves you. He knows it's tormenting you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're all now praying for you. Uh, lots of people in the chat are dropping prayers for you. Now you have an army of Christian sisters praying for you and your family. <laughs> wow, how powerful is that? Yeah, let's get a prayer emoji up if you're praying for Hina. Hina. If you're praying for her, just drop it in the chat there. Just blow it up. Let her know that you're going to be praying for her. Let her know that she's loved. Let her know that we're praying for her. Yeah, look at all that. A lot of people on here. And I know several people on here, they are prayer warriors. And they're going to remember you and your mother and your story. Okay? You're not alone. You are not alone. And you're going to come visit me at the Arizona Deliverance Center, okay? I'll be on Wednesday. Huh? I'll be on Wednesday at 4.30. Okay, Wednesday. Well, you might want to come on Tuesday night because that's when we have our ladies group. If you okay. can't make it. We'll, we'll, pray our, we'll pray our guts out for you. What time? 6.30. 6.30 to 8.30. Yep. 
I have several people on here right now that are going to be there tomorrow night. So it's going to be a good one. Okay, but Wednesday's your appointment. That's great. It's probably with Jen. So you're in good hands. Okay. All right. Now, have you ever been through any deliverance before? Okay. <laughs> what happened? It was all just, it was all just coming. I can't, I can't even tell you how okay. for that word until it just came to me. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to go through tonight, you might be affected by it. So you might start to yawn. You might start to cough. You might start to shake. Okay. If, if you get scared though, and it becomes too much for you, just turn me off. Okay. Just turn it off and, and we'll work with you in person. Okay, because I don't want you to be alone if the spirit starts to manifest in a strong way and it scares you. Okay? But if you start to yawn and cough a little bit and cry, that's okay. You're okay. Okay? And if you're not comfortable, then just, you know, click off. Not a big deal. I won't be offended. I promise. <laughs> All right. You got my email? responded back to me that's why i have the zoom link oh good oh sorry i get a lot of emails sorry i forgot <laughs> okay perfect perfect all right so um we're a little off course tonight ladies but i hope we're okay with that are we good all good. right awesome all right hina we'll talk um so i want to just briefly go over the preparation for deliverance and i've done that a little bit already but this is this really is mostly for I think the new new people, you know you need, you must be desperate and determined to be delivered from spirits. You must want the spirits out of your life more than anything else in the world. A casual approach will not work. If you hold back, the evil spirits will sense your hesitation and they won't leave. You must have repented of all your sin with tears and deep sincerity. Casual repentance, oh, I'm sorry, Lord, will not work. You must hate your sin, run from unforgiveness, anger, bitterness, fornication, and pride. You must be willing to give the Lord everything you have and make a complete surrender to your life to him. Without reservation, you cannot hold back. You must be ready to fight for your life. The kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent, that's you, take it by force. If you won't fight, the demons won't have to fight to stay. You will reap what you sow. Spend as much time in prayer as you can prior to your deliverance date. So this is good for Hina since she's coming in on Wednesday. And a couple, ask a couple of friends to pray for you in preparation. Keep fasting to a minimum. It's really important that you not fast right before your deliverance. Like, Kina, I wouldn't fast at all now. If you started, I would end it because you need your strength. It's a lot of work. It takes a lot of energy and you need your strength. Um, get plenty of rest and you must show the Lord in the kingdom of darkness that you are serious. If you don't show them, they will continue to show you sickness, misery, suffering, sorrow, frustration, disease, guilt, shame, confusion, headaches, headaches and heartaches and premature death. Warning, if you don't, if you have not repented of all your sin and forgiven everyone in your life and are unwilling to make restitution where it's applicable, you are not going to proceed. You are not to proceed. If you continue, you proceed based on your own faith in the word of God and a personal presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. Um, you can't just rely on yourself for deliverance. You have to rely on the Holy Spirit for deliverance because he's the one that gives it. Under no circumstances are you going to hold the representative of hardcore Christianity responsible for any benefit or detriment that you 
may experience during or as a result of the process. Okay, we don't charge fees. Uh, we run all, everything's by donation. So this is all voluntary. No one has forced you to be here. You're here of your own free will. All right. So we're going to start. Now, those of you who are ready to go through this entirely, I want you to relax. Like El Evelyn, she's relaxed in bed there. That's good. <laughs> it's late where she is. Um, if you can, just lay down on your bed, lay back in your chair. You're going to relax. I don't need to see you necessarily, but you got to relax. Okay. You're going to worship the Lord. Now, I'm telling you what to do. Okay. So just worship the Lord. Lord, I love you. Lord, you are beautiful and wonderful. Lord, you are, you are awesome in power. I invite the manifest presence of the Holy Spirit to say those things. I invite you, Lord, come into my room. I love you, Lord. Thank you. Express your love to him right now. Your complete dependence upon him. Tell him how much you are dependent upon him. Express your dependence upon him and his mercy for your life. Take your time. Worship the Lord. Just close your eyes. Worship the Lord. It's between you and him. Okay. And if you haven't done so already, if you can, lay down in a comfortable area, a quiet, dimly lit room. Okay, if you can. Just turn off the big lights. Turn off any sound, music, anything you got going on, just turn it off. You want to be in a very peaceful environment right now. Avoid uh, audio or visual distractions. You want to relax. Meditate on the goodness of the Lord and his word. Just meditate on it. Think about it. Nice deep breath. Nice deep breath. Very good. Just relax. Reduce your heart rate. Okay, get Get that heart rate slow. Another deep breath. Just relax. I love you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. I know you love me. Lord. I know you're going to heal me, Lord. You're my provider, Lord. You're so good to me, Lord. You help me find things. You protect me. You brought me here to Steps to Freedom. You're, you're helping me, Lord. I love you, Lord. I trust you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Now place your hands on your skin of your lower abdomen, okay? And silently in your mind, Begin to cover yourself by faith with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Okay? And just say, I cover myself. You put your hands on that lower abdomen. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Cover myself with the blood of Jesus. And then you just put your hands like on your, your uh, upper thighs. I, I plead the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Just silently in your mind, you're covering yourself in the blood. And then touch your hips. You're covering this whole internal organ area in the blood of Jesus. Just worship him. I worship you, Lord. I glorify your name, Lord. I magnify your greatness. I thank you, Lord, 
for the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Just thank him for the blood. Thank him for his goodness as strongly as you can in your mind. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise your name, God. I worship you. I glorify you. I magnify your greatness. Thank you for the blood, Lord, the blood of Jesus. Wash me of my sin. Focus on the broken body of Christ. He willfully gave for your healing. He allowed himself to be broken, beaten, and bruised. He allowed himself to hang on the cross for you. So thank him for it. Pray in your mind only and not audibly. Repeat this procedure over your stomach. Put your hand on your stomach. On the skin and go through it again. I love you, Lord. I plead, I, I cover myself by faith with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I worship you, Lord. I glorify your name. I magnify your greatness, Lord. I thank you for your blood. Thank you, Lord. Now move to your heart, Eric. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus over my heart. Cover myself. Move to your throat. Cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the blood. Put your hand on your forehead. I cover myself with the precious blood of Christ. Now move to the back of your neck. I plead the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the precious blood of Jesus. Silently you're doing this. Several minutes for each area, silently praying, meditating on the precious, powerful, healing, delivering, enriching power of the blood of Jesus as sincerely and as aggressively as you can. These are the areas of the body where spirits like to hang out. Thank you, Lord, for the blood. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the precious blood, Lord. I magnify you. I worship you, Jesus. Okay, manifestations might begin. You might start yawning. You might feel something unusual in your body, such as pain, twitching, pushing, pulling. You might feel pressure. You might feel a tightness, butterflies, quivering, shaking. You might feel aching, coldness, cramping. You might feel a type of paralysis, numbness, nausea, or movements. You may have strange racing thoughts through your mind. These are the spirits manifesting. These sensations indicate you have the anointing. The demons are moving in fear and the Holy Spirit is present and is exposing the spirits. Now, if you don't feel anything yet, just repeat the process. Start with your lower abdomen, your woman parts, your, your hips, your lower back. Go through it all over again if you don't feel anything, okay? You're going to breathe out of your mouth while you're a commit. You want to start... Um, the demons are moving in fear and the Holy Spirit is present and exposing the spirit. Keep going. Your faith is working. Okay, breathe out of your mouth while, you're, while you start commanding spirits in your mind, using your mind, comm start commanding them to come out. Good. 
be aggressive and forceful in your mind. Get out of my body. Be aggressive here. Don't do it out loud. Just do it in your mind, but keeping your mouth open, okay? Keep going. You're doing good. Plead the blood of Jesus over my stomach. I cover my stomach with the precious blood. I cover my heart with the precious blood of Jesus. I cover my mind with the precious blood of Jesus. Yeah, the warm feelings, those are demons. Yep, could be, could be the Holy Spirit. Okay, but it's probably demons. You probably got the anointing and they're moving around. They're causing body sensations, heat, tingling, warmth, coldness. Now you want to use, um, you're going to switch to verbal commands when the spirits start coming out. So if you start crying, you start yawning. If you start to cough, now they're starting to come out. Now you start using your verbal commands and you'd say, get out of me in the name of Jesus. If nothing's happening, just go back up to relaxing, worshiping the Lord, meditate and, and on God, the goodness of God placing your hands on different parts of your body and pleading the blood of Jesus over those parts to cover it with the blood of Jesus. So when you switch to the verbal commands is when the spirits start coming out. You're going to use your mind to command and verbally commanding in unison with determination and aggression. The more you use your faith, the more pleased your heavenly father is. Okay? Yeah, good, Deb. Just start commanding them out now. And Marie, start commanding them out. Mary Catherine, tell them to go. Tell them to go. Evelyn, tell them to go. Cecilia, tell them to go now. Good. You start to cry. You're starting to yawn a little bit. Just tell them to go now. You have the, the anointing. There you go. Mary Lee, good. Tell them to go. You know it's in there. You confessed it on the chat. So you tell those spirits to go. Get out. Get out of my, loose me in Jesus' name. Go now. Go now. Turn on your camera so I can see what's going on with you. Just tell him to go now. I command you to get out of me. Be aggressive. Be serious. Be determined. Get out of my cancer. You get out of my body right now. Jesus. I'm not going to die. I'm going to live and declare that. I command this anger to get out of me in the name of Jesus. Get out right now. Get out of my body. Get out of my body. Go. Tell him to go. Get out of my body now. Hindu God demons, get out of my body. Fear, come out right now. Fear, go in the name of Jesus. Fear, isolation, come out right now. Get out right now. Withdraw. Come out of there. Depression, go. Get out of me. Depression, come out. People pleasing, get out of me now. Codependency, I hate you. I command you to get out of my body. Tell them to go. You tell them to go. Good. Good, Yelda. Good, Evelyn. Great. 
Keep going, ladies. Tell them to go. Close your eyes. Put your hands on your body and command the spirits to come out. You have authority over them. If the Lord, if something comes to mind that you need to repent of, just repent. Lord, I'm so sorry. Lord, I'm sorry for rebellion. I'm sorry for not trusting. I'm so sorry, Lord, for being afraid. I'm so sorry. Get out. You start to feel pain somewhere. Put your hand on that part of your body and you tell the devil, get out of my neck. Get out of my forehead. Get out of my guts. Get out of me. Fear, pride, self-pity. Get out right now. Bitterness, resentment. I command you out right now. I bless those people who've hurt me. I bless those people who have wrongfully accused me. I forgive myself, Lord. I forgive myself for giving in to sin, for giving in to overeating. I forgive myself, Lord. I repent. Of Get out of my body. Glut me. Get out now. Addiction to sugar. Get out now. Addiction to salt. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Hopelessness. Come out of there. Mental illness. Come out right now. Come out right now. Go in Jesus' name. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Depression. Anxiety. Panic disorder. Get out of my body. Bipolar disorder. Come out right now. Get out in Jesus' name. Get out in the mighty name of Jesus. Good. Keep going. You got the anointing. Go, Cecilia. Keep going. Yelda, keep going. Great. Keep going. Get out of my body. Stop hitting me, devil. Stop hurting me. Stop causing me pain. Stop giving me disease. I command you out now. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out. Out in Jesus' name. Now you feel something in there, but just nothing's coming out. You feel it, but nothing's coming out. Just give two big coughs by faith. Just give out two big coughs. There you go. Command them out. Go now. Get out of there. Go now. All right, Stephanie, I'm going to invite Stephanie to come and coach you along. We're coaching you tonight. You know what to say. You know what's in there. It doesn't matter if you have to tell fear to go a thousand times. You tell it to go. You drive it out. Don't shrink back. All right, Stephanie's going to coach you now and help you. Hey, Stephanie, just work with everyone as a group, or you can pick somebody you see maybe who's new on here who might need a little help. Okay. All right, thanks. Good night, ladies. So just lay your hands on your, your stomach or your chest. Wherever you feel it manifesting or moving. And just say, come out of my body right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, come out. I want all the fear out of my body. Lord, I renounce fear. I want it out of my body. I want all the rejection out of me right now. Rejection, you come out of my body right now. Just tell it to go. Lord, I'm so sorry for coming in agreement with the laws. I want every demon that came into my brain to go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Just tell it to go. Come out of my body right now. Come out of my brain. 
rejection, fear, go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of my body right now. Lord, I'm sorry for hurting you, Lord. I'm so sorry for hurting you. I command the demons out of my body. The fear, the rejection, the self-hatred. I command you, come out of my body right now. Just tell it. Just speak it out. Come out of my body right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come out of my stomach right now. Come out of my neck right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out. Go right now. You come out of my body right now. All the rejection, fear, anxiety, go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Go right now. Go right now. Just lay your hands on your chest or your stomach. Use your anointing. Use your authority. Say, come out of me right now. Thank you, Jesus. Come out of my body right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You come out of my body right now. Fear, anxiety, rejection, go right now. Come out of Mary. Go right now. Good, Mary. You come out of my body right now. All the fear, rejection, fear of the future, poverty, go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Just tell it whatever it is, the symptoms in your body, just say, come out right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Go right now. Witchcraft, go. I command witchcraft out of my body. New age. Ouija board demons. Go right now, you familiar spirits. Go. Come out. Self-rejection, go. You come out of my body right now. I'm sorry for getting involved in witchcraft, Lord. I command every demon that came in through witchcraft, Ouija boards, and psychics to go right now. Go right now. Good, Mary, Mary Lee. Keep going. That's the anointing. Just tell them. Go right now. You come out of my body right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You leave my body right now. Witchcraft. Fear. Go right now. Ouija board demons, psychics, tarot cards, go right now. Good, Betty. Keep going. You come out of my body right now. Go. Go right now. Cecilia, just take some deep breaths. I command every demon in my chest and stomach to go right now. Go right now. You go. Come out of my body right now. Come out of my chest. Come out of my stomach right now in Jesus' mighty name. Go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out. There you go. Go right now. You come out of my body right now. Go. Come out. Go. Come out right now. Come out of my stomach. Come out of my chest. Good, Cecilia. Keep going. They're coming out now. Go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Fear, anxiety, rejection. Go. Come out of my body right now. Go right now. Go right now. Thank you, Jesus. I command every demon hiding in my stomach, in my chest, to go right now. In my brain, every demon that's blocking my ministry. You go right now. You come out of my body right now. Come out right now. I command you to loose me and come out of my body right now. Go right now. Torment, idolatry, self-rejection, go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You come out of my body right now. Every demon hindering me, blocking my ministry, go right now. 
Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You come out of my brain. Good Cecilia, come out right now. You come out of my brain. Good Mary Lee. Good Mary, y'all keep going. I command you to come out of me. Good he, good Hina, come out right now. Go, you come out of my body right now. Loose me and come out. Just tell him to come out, come out of my chest, come out of my stomach, you go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Go, fear, anxiety, go right now. Come out of my chest, come out of my stomach, you come out of my lungs, come out of my organs right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of my brain. Come out of the frontal loop. Go right now. You come out of my body right now, demons. Just tell them. Go right now. Go right now in Jesus' mighty name. All the fear and rejection, go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of my eyes. Idolatry, you go right now. Witchcraft, every demon that came into my body through drugs and witchcraft, go right now. You spirit of rejection that entered me when I was a child, you go right now. Come out of my body right now. Go right now. Thank you, Jesus. Good, Betty. Keep going. Go right now. You come out of my body right now. I'm using my authority. Just go ahead. Use your authority and your anointing. If you're yawning, the demons are coming out, coughing, crying. Just keep going. Ramp it up. Now is the time to ramp it up. If you have the anointing and the demons are coming out, you come out of my body right now, every single one of you. Every demon blocking my ministry, every demon of idolatry, you go right now. You rejection demon, go, come out of my body right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of my brain, come out of my lungs. Go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You come out of me right now. Come out of me. Every spirit of infirmity, you go, come out of my body right now. Go right now in Jesus' mighty name. You come out. Go, come out right now. Come out of my body right now. Come out, all the rejection. Go right now. Loose, loose my body and come out. You come out of my neck. Come out of my spine. Go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Go right now, lust, perversion, you come out of my body right now. Go right now. Go right now. Good, Mary Lee, keep going, fight. You go, you come out of my body right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of my back. Go right now. Come out of my back. Go right now. Go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose my back. Loose my neck. Go right now. Go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Go right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jen, thank you, Jesus. Hi, sister. Hey. Okay, Mary Lee, let's work with you a little bit on your self-deliverance. Have you ever done self-deliverance before? Okay, well, you got a good start tonight, it looks like, so we're going to keep it going, okay? Okay, thank you, Lord. Please forgive me, Father God. Please forgive me for coming into agreement with all that fear, with all the rejection, with all the negative thoughts, Lord, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me for listening to the enemy's lies, Lord. I'm so sorry. I come out of agreement with him. And I receive your truth. 
Tell that fear to go, Mary Lee. Tell, tell him to come up and out. Come out of me in the name of Jesus. Tell him to leave in the name of Jesus. All the fear and anxiety. Come out of me now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. All the fear and anxiety. Loose and come out. Tell it to come out. Command it to go in the name of Jesus. Come out of me now. All the rejection come out of me now. I'm sorry for listening to that rejection spirit, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come out of me now in Jesus' name. All rejection come out of me. I command you to come up and out. Tell him to go in the name of Jesus. All the heaviness come out of me now. All that heaviness. Loose me and come out in Jesus' name. Come out of me in the name of Jesus. All the anger come up and out of me now. Come out of my body. Come out of my soul in the name of Jesus. Come out of me in the name of Jesus. I command it all to leave now in the name of Jesus. I forgive the people that have hurt me, Lord. I forgive them. I forgive them. I command all those spirits of oppression and heaviness, all the betrayal and hurt to come up and out of me in the name of Jesus. Come out of my mind in the name of Jesus. All those lying spirits in my mind, I command you to go now in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out of me now. Come out of me now in the name of Jesus. Come out, all witchcraft. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry that I fell into agreement with witchcraft and I practiced divination when I was younger. I'm so sorry I let those spirits in, Lord. I'm sorry, you come out of me now. All the divination come out of me in the name of Jesus. I command you to go. Come out of me now. All the witchcraft, I break it off of my mind. I break it off of my body in the name of Jesus. All that witchcraft infirmity, I command you to go and leave my body now in the name of Jesus. Come out. I break all the covenants I made with the witchcraft, knowingly or unknowingly, in the name of Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm so sorry that I was deceived and fell into practicing witchcraft and new age, that I followed after false gods. I'm so sorry, Lord. Please forgive me, and I command it to come out of me in the name of Jesus. Come out of me now in the name of Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, I've held on to resentments against my mom, against my dad who hurt me. I'm so sorry, Lord, that I've hated them in my heart sometimes. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, and I just release my mom to you, Lord. I release my dad to you, Lord. I release them, and I, I pray blessing over them, Lord. And I command mom to come out of me in the name of Jesus. All the spirits from mom, I command out of my body in the name of Jesus. All the abuse and trauma from mom and dad, I command you to come out of my body. Come out of my body. Come out of my soul. All the trauma from my childhood, I command out in the name of Jesus. All the trauma, all the emotional abuse, Lord, I forgive them. I forgive them. I'm sorry I've held on to hatred and anger for so many years. I release my mom. I release my dad. All those spirits from dad come out of me in the name of Jesus Christ. All those spirits from dad out of me now. I command all those demons from dad out in Jesus' name. All the rejection from dad come out of me in the name of Jesus. All the emotional trauma come out of me in the name of Jesus. Come out now. I'm out of my mind. 
all the mental illness come out. I break you off of my mind in the name of Jesus. I command you out of my brain, out of my thoughts in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command all of these deceiving spirits, all these demons lying to me. I command you to loose and come out of my mind, out of my body in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now. Come out all the rejection from mom and dad. I command you to come out. I release it and I command them to leave me in the name of Jesus. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out hatred and anger. I repent for all the anger that I've carried around that's turned into hatred, Lord. I am so sorry that I've carried unforgiveness. I release it all to you, Lord. I lay it down. All the hate and anger, I command you out of me in the name of Jesus. All this demonic poison come out of me in the name of Jesus. All of this poison in my mind, I command you out of me in the name of Jesus. All the self-hatred, I command you out of me in the name of Jesus. Come out of my brain, come out of my body, come out of my soul. Come out of me in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out, self-hatred. I'm sorry I hate it myself, Lord, when you love me so much. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry for rejecting myself and hating myself. All that self-rejection, I command you to come out of me in the name of Jesus. I command you out. I take my authority and I command you, spirits, out of my body and my mind and my soul. In the name of Jesus, come out. Come out all the mind control, come out of me in the name of Jesus, come out of my brain, come out now, all those seducing and lying spirits in my mind, I command you to break off and leave in the name of Jesus, leave me now in the name of Jesus, come out of my mind, all you deceiving spirits, all the mental illness, I come out of agreement with that, and I command all these mental illness demons to lo loose and come out. Leave in the name of Jesus. All the anxiety. I command you to leave me in the name of Jesus. I renounce that fear in Jesus' name. And I command you to come out of me. Come out of my soul. Come out of my body in the name of Jesus. Come out of me now. Loose me and come out. All the, the lying fear demons. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. All those lying fear spirits. Come out of me in the name of Jesus. You're liars. I'm not listening to these lies anymore. You come out of my brain in the name of Jesus. Come out of me now. Come out of me now in the name of Jesus. All that grief and sorrow. I come out of agreement with you and I command you to go in the name of Jesus. All the sadness, all the depression all the self-hatred, all the suicide. I'm so sorry, Lord. I listen to these demons. I listen to these demons and I'm so sorry, Father. Please forgive me. All the suicide, I command you to loose and come out of the mind, come out of the body. Suicide, come out of me now. Come out of me in the name of Jesus. I command all of these demons to go. In the name of Jesus, I command you to leave my body, leave my mind in the name of Jesus Christ. I come out of agreement with all this darkness in the name of Jesus. I renounce it all in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. All the suicide, all the sadness, all the self-pity. I command you out of me in the name of Jesus. I command you out of me. Out in the name of Jesus. Out of my mind, out of my body, out of my soul. All these unclean spirits, loose me and leave in the name of Jesus. You come out of me in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for opening up wisdom and understanding about self-deliverance lord we know how important it is lord that we pick up our weapons of warfare and use them against the enemy ourselves lord 
Thank you for teaching us, Father God. Thank you for opening our hearts and minds to receive these teachings and understanding, understandings, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Kelly, are you on? Yes. Hello, ladies. Let's continue to keep fighting, okay? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for all you're doing for these ladies, Lord. I ask, Lord, that you remove that heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh, Lord. Help them, Father God. Help them to repent, Lord. Help them to repent and loose their families, their mothers, their fathers, their children, to release them all to you, Father God. All the negativity and the pity and the codependency and the overthinking and carrying these burdens of responsibilities, Father God. Because you say that in your word that we cast our burdens onto you, Father God. Because you care for us, Lord. So we're casting our burdens onto you, Father God. Because you love us and you care for us. We're tired, Lord. We're so tired of carrying these burdens on our shoulders. They weigh us down. It's like uh, this heaviness on our backs, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Father God. In these end times, Father God. All the hate that's swirling around. Help us, Father God, not to draw to that, Father God, that will draw to you, Lord, because you care for us and you love us, Lord, because you're coming back and you're coming back with a sword, Father God, and the truth, the truth that sets us free, Father God. We're getting ready for you, Father God, as we cast these demons out. We're doing self-deliverance, self-deliverance. Call those spirits out, ladies. You got to fight, okay? The violent take it by force. Let's take the, get these demons out. Get all that negativity out of your mind. Put your hand on your head and on your stomach and you go to war. Let's go. All codependency demons come out right now. Pride spirits, self-blaming spirits come out right now. In the name of Jesus, loose them right now. All that pride come out right now and negative thoughts come out of the mind right now because your victory is ahead. Your victory is ahead. You're going to win this race. Come out right now, all negative thoughts. Loose the mind. Loose the mind right now. In the name of Jesus, all carnal uh demons come out right now carnality come out right now in the name of jesus go go all carnality come out right now in the name of jesus codependency spirits come out right now bitterness resentment anger pride fear fear deep-seated fear come out right now go self-accusation Come out right now. Self-accusation, self-blame. Come out right now. ADD demons, come out right now. Mind wandering, come out right now. In the name of Jesus, not keeping tasks, doing one task at a time. Come out right now. Procrastination, come out right now. In the name of Jesus, help them, Lord. Oh, come on, call these demons out. Self-blame, come out right now. All self-blame, come out right now. In the name of Jesus, go, go. Come out right now, all tiredness. Tiredness, can't get through the day. Come out right now, fear, fear of tomorrow. Come out right now in the name of Jesus, go. All that self-blame, lying, lying demons that lie to you and tell you that you can't deliver yourself. Those are lies. You have the anointing. You have the anointing. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Call them out. Come out of my mind right now. Come out of my mind right now. 
In the name of Jesus, every mind-binding spirit, mental illness, AD, ADD spirits, ADHD spirits, come out right now. Death dumb spirits, come out right now in the name of Jesus. All that witchcraft, come out right now. Come out right now. All death dumb spirits, you come out right now in the name of Jesus. All that pity and self-loathing, self-loathing, come out right now. Come on, call it out. Self-loathing. Come out right now. There you go. Come on, keep fighting. You guys are fighting now. Victory is ahead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Victory is ahead. Come out. Keep coming out. Praise God. Keep coming out. You guys are doing great. Come on. Keep fighting. Fighting for your lives. Fighting for your families. Fighting for your husbands. Come on. Keep coming out right now in the name of Jesus. Go, oh, I take my authority and I can cast these demons out myself in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus. Stuttering demons, come out right now. Get off their tongues right now. Get off their tongues right now in the name of Jesus. Quit blocking their tongues. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. All that anger, anger in the legs. Come out right now, all that anger and rage. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all sicknesses and infirmities come out right now. Go, go, sickness and infirmities. Cancer demons come out right now. Go, cancer demons, cancer in the breast, cancer in the female area. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go. I speak healing over their bodies right now. Speak healing over their minds right now. Mental illness, schizophrenic demons, bipolar demons. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. Come out of that mind right now. All headaches, headaches, migraines. Come out right now. Jealousy, pride, come out right now in the name of Jesus. Jezebel spirits, come out right now. Control, controlling in the church, come out right now. Controlling the pastor, come out right now in the name of Jesus. Every Jezebel spirit, you leave right now. I repent, Lord. I repent for gossiping, Father God, in the church. I repent for gossiping about my pastor and my teacher. Go now. In the name of Jesus, go. Questioning truth, questioning God. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. I'm so sorry, Father God. I repent, Lord, for questioning the truth, the truth that sets me free, Father God. I'm so sorry if I've had any anger towards you, Lord, for waiting, I, wanting to do things on my time. Go now. It's God's time, not your time. God's time is perfect. Come out right now. Control, controlling God, controlling time. Come out right now in the name of Jesus, blaming God, blaming God for your situations. Go right now, blaming God for your husband and your children. Go. I release this all to you, Father God. I can't control anything, Father God. I can't control these burdens. Go now in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. Go codependency. Codependency demons. Go. Go. I can deliver myself. Renew the mind. Help me to renew my mind, Father God, to your word. I won't just be a hearer of the word. I will be a doer of the word. I will not waste my anointing. Come out right now. Wasting, wasting time. Go. Procrastination. Go. Self-pity. Go. All self-pity. Go. In the name of Jesus, self-pity. Come out. Call out self-pity. Self-blame. Self-accusation. -accus Critical spirits criticizing yourself, indiciveness, come out right now, indicive, come out right now, go, go, come out of Anna right now, call it out, Anna, come out, 
Come out, wasting time and resources. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Go. Go. I don't want to waste time anymore. Time is short. We are only to live for today. We have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. So we have to live today to the fullest. Stop wasting time. Insecurities. Insecurities come out right now. All rejection and insecurities and self-hate come out right now. All those lies. All those lies that come in through the ears. All the thoughts. All those negative thoughts. Loose them right now in the name of Jesus. All negative thoughts. I'm so sorry, Father God, that I'm not taking these thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ. I repent, Father God. I will not let one thought go to another thought. I will start cap I will start capturing these thoughts. Anything that's negative, anything that's not from you, Lord. Any fear. Fear of tomorrow, unforgiveness. Unforgiveness come out. I forgive my enemy. God will make peace between two enemies. We don't war the flesh. We war what's inside people. Demons is what we war. There's a spiritual battle going on right now. Fighting. Go now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is fighting for you. He died a horrible death for you at the cross. He shed his blood for you. He shed his blood for you and died for you. He's given you all authority to trample on scorpions and uh, snakes. Nothing will hurt you. Nothing you eat nor drink. He's given you authority to cast these devils out. So start casting them out right now. The violent take it by force. Like Julie was saying, the violent take it by force. I will be sober-minded and vigilant because the adversary roars around coming after me, my family. I will fight. I will fight. I'm fighting now. It only takes one. And you're that one. Come on, let's go. All negativity, all overthinking, overthinking demons come out right now. Not trusting God, not trusting God with my family, with my children, my grandchildren, my husband. Go now. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Father God. I thank you, Father God. I trust you completely, Lord. I trust you with my children. I trust you with my grandchildren. I will not fear. I will not fear tomorrow. I will not fear tomorrow. I will not fear the future. All memory recall come out right now. All those locked in memories, all those emotions come out right now. In the name of Jesus, operating in emotions of crying and pity, bitterness, anger, and resentment. Codependency on your husband. Go now. In the name of Jesus, go. In the name of Jesus, all those negative thoughts. All those negative thoughts come out of that brain right now. Come out of that frontal lobe. Come out right now, all the depression, all the suicide. Come out right now. Come out right now. Call them out. Victory is ahead. Victory is ahead. Praise God. Praise God. Come out right now. Rejection and self-hate. All the rejection and self-hate. You monster of rejection. You come out. You can't live in my body anymore. You're a squatter. 
And I want you out of my body. You're homeless. I'm cleaning my house. I'm sweeping my house clean. I'm out right now. All that anger and bitterness and rejection and self-loathing. Feeling sorry for yourself. Go now. I'm so sorry, Father God. I repent for feeling sorry for myself. I repent, Father God. With my anger and passing my anger on other people. Come out right now. Deal with me, Lord. Deal with me, Father God. It's me, Lord. It's not the people. Thank you, Lord, for my enemy. Because my enemy is helping me. Come out right now. All that hurt and pain and broken heart. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, there you go. I repent. All sexual sin, fornication, adultery. Go now. All those lust spirits. You come out right now. You come out of these women right now. Go. Every lust spirit. Go. Fornication, adultery. Go. In the name of Jesus. Go. All fornication spirits, go. Come out right now. Come out of their abdomen. Come out of their private area. Come out right now. Their female area. Come out right now. All that lust, come out right now. And blaming yourself for being in fornication. I repent, Lord. I'm so sorry, Father God, for fornication and adultery. I'm so sorry, Lord. Forgive me, Father God. Forgive me, Lord, I repent. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for sexual sin. I'm so sorry, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for forgiving me, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come out right now, all that sexual sin, self-blame, unforgiveness towards self, Come out right now. You're being set free. You're being set free. You have to believe that and receive that. Fornication, you're being, you're being healed. You're being set free. You've been forgiven. If you've repented, you're being, you've been forgiven. God forgives you. That's what repentance is for. As we repent, we ask God to forgive. We cast the devil out and we move on. Then we go to the next level. What else is in there? It's like a layer coming out. Adultery, fornication, self-blaming, self-accusation. Keeps going and going. Keep delivering yourself. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. And when you fall flat on your face, God's going to be there to pick you up. Then you go through more deliverance. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Write in the chat if there's anything else I can pray for. Keep continuing to call these demons out of yourself. You're doing self-deliverance tonight. I'm just helping you, but you're doing it. It's between you and the Holy Spirit. I'm just here to help. You have the anointing. Don't let the devil tell you otherwise. Burning in your feet and your legs. Come out all that witchcraft. Come out of the feet and the legs. Go. Every monitoring spirit. Come out of those feet and come out of those legs. Right now. Go. All that anger and rage that's hiding in those legs. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Come out right now. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. All that burning sensations. Come out right now. I speak healing. Healing throughout their whole bodies. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Father and brother, come out right now in the name of Jesus. I release my brother. 
I release my father. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. I forgive them. I let them go. God says we are to honor our mother and father. If you don't, you, there will be a curse placed on you. Every curse, come out right now. All curses, come out right now. Curses of death, come out right now. Go. Curses in the mind, come out right now. Go. In the name of Jesus, devil, you can't have their minds. They're fighting. They're fighting. Praise God. Familiar spirits making connections with people. Come out right now. All familiar spirits. Come out. Any connections that the devil is trying to set up. I break right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any contract that's been made over you in the spiritual realm. I rip that contract up and I break it right now. I cut those cords of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, heaviness, leaky gut, brain fog, obesity, go now. Go. I speak healing over her body and that fat will leave right now. Hormonal imbalance, go. Oh, lust spirits, go. Go. I pray that those uh, hormones will be in place. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing throughout women's bodies. Right now, hormones, be balanced right now in the name of Jesus. Be balanced in the female area. Go now, any demonic spirits, go. Thank you, Father God. Yes, the truth that sets us free. Thank you, Lord, for truth. Truth that sets us free. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father God. Praise you, Lord. We worship you and we thank you, Father God, for delivering us, delivering us from the pits of hell. Thank you, Father God. Hormonal, come out right now. Go, oh, every lust spirit that's messing with their hormones, come out right now. In the name of Jesus, go. Oh, hot flashes, go. Brain fog, go. Messing with their vision, go. Obesity, go, go, can't lose weight, bloatedness, go right now in the name of Jesus, feeling bloated, go right now in the name of Jesus, every marine spirit, go right now, go in the name of Jesus, come out of their hormones right now in the name of Jesus, go, come out of their minds, come out of their brains, brain fog, go. All that witchcraft, go in the name of Jesus. Come on, keep continuing to fight. All those spirits out. The Holy Spirit's with you. You have the anointing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for these women, Father God. I ask, Lord, that you bless these women, Father God. And you help them, Father God. Weakness in legs and feet. All that weakness come out of the legs. Right now, come out of the feet. Go. Go. Come out of the bones. Come out of the veins. Go. Making them feel weak. Weak in their minds. Weak in their feet. Weak in their legs. Crippling spirits. Crippling spirits. Come out right now. Crippling spirits, weakness in the left side of the body, come out right now. All that weakness, go, go. Demon of weakness, come out right now. Go, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I call these spirits out right now. You have to leave, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for delivering and healing these women, healing their feet, healing their legs. Obesity is leaving. Fat is leaving. Bloatedness is leaving. Go, imbalanced hormones are leaving. Go now. Every demonic spirit, water spirits, go. Retaining water, retaining water in your feet. 
Go, retaining water in your hands. Go, keep coming out. Go, right now. All that self-accusation and self-hate come out right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help them, Father God. Help them, Lord. Help them to get these demons out, Lord. Help them to do self-deliverance, Father God. Let them know, Lord, that they have the anointing, Father God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for us, Father God. Thank you. Thank you for your promises in your word, Father God. Help them to read the word, Lord, that they will continue to renew their minds, Father God, and understand what your promises are over their lives, Father God. And that fear will leave them, Father God. I just thank you, Father God. And we worship you, Father God, together as sisters in Christ. We worship you, Father God. We join hands together and we worship you, Lord. And we pray for each other, Father God, on this Zoom call. We're praying for each other. We are, we are in the battle together. We are all in this battle together. And we join hands together as sisters. And we just thank you, Father God, for bringing us together tonight, Father God. And being able to be on this Zoom call, Father God. Because it's you, Father God, that makes all things possible through your son. Your son that's died on that cross, Lord. And has given us all authority to cast these devils out, Father God. I just thank you, Father God, that we're not in torment, Father God. That we're not in torment. And you start believing that, ladies. Take those thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ. Don't let those thoughts overpower you. When you get up in the morning... You start praising God and thanking God. Spend time with God. Start joining in with him during your days. Reading a scripture or saying a scripture out loud. Renew that mind. It's very important. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end the call. And I thank you for staying on. And I thank you for trusting me to pray over you. And it's you that cast these devils out. I'm just here to help. And I love you. And you have a great week and a blessed week. And I'll see you next Monday. Good night.